There was a Gurukul in India. Gurukul means a residential institution where the Guru, the master, lives. His family lives, his wife supports him. She's called the Guru Ma, the master is called Guruji. And people come there and live there. So this particular Gurukul was fantastic. People from all over the country came to leave their sons there. It was an all boys Gurukul and they left their son at age seven. They had and they were they were to stay there for 14 years and go back at 21 ready for the world. But those 14 years, the boys were not allowed to go back to their homes. So one such batch had three young men who came from the same area, they lived in the same hut and they came when they were seven, they were there for 14 years and when they turned 21, their passing out ceremony was due, the master came, the Guruji came to their hut and said, when everything is over and before you are leaving, please visit my hut and meet me before going. So the ceremony ended extremely well. These three young men went to the Guru's hut, they met him, but he said nothing. It was turning dark, they had a forest to cross and they had to reach their village after a whole night's journey on foot. So with tearful eyes and a heavy heart, they left the Guru where they had spent 14 years of rich learning and they were saying to themselves, God knows what happened to Guruji, our master, he just forgot uh, to say what he had to and uh, but anyway, he's the master, they started walking. They were walking, they came to a forest, it was thick, it was turning dark and they came to a clump of thorns. The whole path was laden with bushes of thorns. So, young man number three said, look, I am not interested in going through this path, I am taking some shortcut and I will wait for you on the other side of the forest. Young man number two said, look, I am not interested either, but I will find my way. Like Tarzan, I'll find vines and I'll jump from one tree to another, I'll find a way. Young man number one said, no way, I'm going to clear the path. Not just for myself, but for all others who will come behind us. So one by one, he picked up one bush after the other. It took him a long time and he cleared the path throughout the forest and then he lit the thorns on fire. Just when he did that, he saw a figure leap out of the forest give him a huge, warm, tight embrace. It was the master. The master said to him, call your two friends. The result called out, they came. And he told young man number one, that look, your education is now complete. This was my message. Because if your education is complete, then the crux of the matter is that you must leave the path of your life better for others to follow more comfortably. You've got the message, you've got the gist of my education. To the other two he said, you have not even begun. You'll have to be with me for 14 more years. And he sent them back to the ashram. And he told the told young man number one, you're ready for go out and lead a life that is dedicated to making and contributing towards the betterment of Great message for everyone. Achieve by all means, amass wealth, yet share it and make life better for as many people.